Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. I'm just here to remind you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe consider leaving a comment on what you liked or disliked about the video. And I hope you enjoy the content. I'll see you later. My thoughts. Let me go ahead and record my thoughts immediately after that. Um, this will go up on YouTube as well. Uh, hello YouTube, welcome back to another Agito Live video. This is going to be another Withering Waves 1.1 story conversation review moment, I guess. Whatever. Um, yeah. Spoilers. It was really good. Really, really good. I The pacing was really, really good. Up until like the last like five minutes when we kind of over explained the options of like do we fight do we fight the dragon do we not fight the dragon if we do fight the dragon this will happen but if we don't do this this will happen. like it was a little too much over explaining it a couple of times a little overly dramatic in parts but at the same time i get what they were trying to do with that they were really trying to hype it up and honestly the the fight lived up to the hype the fight was very it was very quick but it was very fun uh i have not uh, I have not fought it yet as, like, a b weekly boss stage yet, but I'll do that later. Um, so I think all the stuff with Jinshi and Jue and that was really, really cool. And then, like, when the fight was over and you're talking to Jue and Jue's like, uh, uh, yeah, you're my master from before. All of this is because of you in some way. Kind, like, kind of tangentially, right? Like, I couldn't do these things if without your permission that you gave before you decided to go live among the normies. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, I have a ton of questions now about a lot of things then. And um, I like Abraxas. I keep calling him Abraxas because I really like that name and I like it a lot better than Abby. Um, so I'm going to keep calling him Abraxas. So if you hear me say Abraxas, it's because I'm, I'm talking about Abby. Um, either way, Abraxas is cool. And... Uh, just not as involved as Paimon, right? Like, oh my god, I I was like so concerned that we're like, oh, we're gonna have her talking or him talking, them talking all the time. It's gonna be super annoying. But nope, we had their little intro quest that was all about them. They had a few lines at the very beginning of the main story, and then they came out at the very end to be like, hey, that's a big dragon, but it's not evil. What's going on here? I'm hungry, right? Like, it just... Small moments, a specific quest for it, and then a small moments. Perfect. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. Um, I think the animations on uh, Abraxas are really cool. Uh, I think the animations in the game. Like, there was a lot of really good like character interaction animations going on here. When they did flashbacks, like when they did the um, during the companion during the companion a new companion mission when you're talking when you're learning about Abraxas, they do a flashback scene where. Uh, they just show clips of, like, what happened, and they give you an explanation of, like, what was going on. And I loved that as a recap of, like, what happened between the ending of the last one and the beginning of the next story. Like, it was so, so well done. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better way to, like, just move on from we just saved the city. Um, I think they cleaned up Yang Yang's dialogue a little bit. Um... Maybe. I don't know. In that quest, it seemed not as bad. There were still some harsh ones, so I, maybe they just cleaned up the audio a little bit better. Chisha was fine. Um, this is a testament they've added a bunch of NPC voices. Like, they're really getting letting that British cast really, like, kind of go. Like, the, uh, the exploration lady in the main city, in the first city, in Jinjo, um, has a voice now. And I swear to God, she didn't before. Uh, there were a lot of NPCs. And it's like uh, Zin Yi, Zin Yi, standout character. I really hope that she becomes a playable character. That'd be really cool. A kind of, kind of, kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. She got the boss. She got that boss lady coat going on. It's really cool. Um, but she can't leave this city because then she'd die. I guess. So I guess it's be kind of hard to have her be a playable character for lore reasons. But that's that's it's whatever. It's fine. Um, and. Um, there's a, there's something I'm avoiding, and I'll get to that in a second. Because once I start talking about it, I won't stop. Um, the fight with with Joy was really good. Um, uh, I I kind of want to pull for Junshi, but uh, I'm saving for that thing I don't want to talk about yet. And uh, yeah, she's really cool. I like her combat. I like her, I think I like her fight style. Her animations are freaking cool. 
and the voice acting was really good throughout the entirety of the story. Like the entirety of it in English was very, very good. Yang Yang was nowhere in sight. There were none of the audio issues. None of the accents really came through, except like a one line read from Jin Shi. I think it felt like it came through a little bit. And uh, I, though I wish they would just free the Brit, as uh, as my chat was saying earlier, just free the British. Um, freedom for the British. Hashtag freedom for the British in, in Wuthering Waves. Um, because every other character is British, which is, again, why it's weird that the main characters aren't British, uh, even though everybody else is. It's really weird. Really, really It's still jarring. That's still weird. Um, um, I think that's it in terms of the broad scope. Um, the new map's good size. Uh, the ending part, after you're done talking to the dragon and App and Abraxas, you get to slide down the mountain in this cool, like, speed thing. That that's that's that was just cool. That was just a cool, like, hey, we did it! Yay! Let's slide down the mountain. I don't know. It's it's that fun, like, shonen anime feel to it, right? Like, like a My Hero Naruto kind of esque feel of you get to do something kind of silly, like right after the big fight. I don't know. Um, but in a good way, in a good way, because sometimes that can be really annoying, like Naruto missing his fucking coronation. Um, all right, now to talk about the plot in the room. All right, there's some plot in the room that we need to talk about, and her name is Chang Li. I have never been so down bad for a character. Now, little background. When Withering Waves was first announced, you know, years ago, um, I was like, hmm, this looks cool. I'm super interested. I immediately got on their Discord. I was following all their stuff. I was really, really hyped for the game. Um, and then they started showing a lot of designs and things like that. And I was like, eh. And then there was a lot of beta stuff coming out. And I was like, eh. And I kind of just fell off like the last six months before the game came out. I think it was like a month before the game released that they released a clip on YouTube of like just Chang Lee. Like it was just like a, just like the art, the art of this is Chang Lee. This is her art, right? And I was like, this character looks amazing. I'm playing the game, right? That was the reason. That was the reason I downloaded and installed Withering Waves was for Chang Lee. Fast forward, game releases. I download, I install the game, I start playing, and I find out that she's gonna be like one of the first characters in the the. She's gonna be the third character, I guess, third and fourth limited character. Um, but I find out that she's going to be there, so I start looking. I looked at leaks and all this other stuff, right? And I was like, oh my god, she's fucking awesome. She is so cool. Oh my god. Also, way more plot than her original image implied. Super cool. Hairstyle, super cool. Motif, super cool. Everything just freaking chef's kiss. Perfect character. I start seeing all of the leaks, and I start seeing her abilities, and I'm like, oh, this sounds really cool. She's got, like, she's a damage dealer. Perfect. Originally, she was supposed to be, like, a like a, like a a not as main damage dealer, but now she's a pure damage dealer or whatever. Super good. It means I can main her in the, as a frontline on-field character all the time. Super excited for that. Uh, then they changed her weapon at some point during the uh, during testing to be a bit more damage-oriented. Oh, it's been, it's just, and everything's just been rolling in the direction of being good for Chang Ling. And then... The cinematic for uh, 1.1 came out, and we got it's big, big on Jin Shi, but Chang Li shows up there. I'm like one of the one of the people that's like, oh shit, Chang Li's here. Um, she looks great. Her voice sounds crisp. Then we get, um, then we get the actual 1.1 like, here's the stuff coming in 1.1 trailer, and we get a glimpse of her abilities and stuff. And I must not have been paying attention past her plot because I didn't realize this until you get into the test part of the quest in this in this story, right? There's a certain point in the story where you fall into a trap and you get to use Jin Shi and Chang Li and test them out. I immediately switched to Chang Li as soon as I noticed I could. My my brain exploded with how how her kit works and how it reflects on her character design. Her clothes literally burn away the sh like the more you use her stuff until you use it all and then it all comes back. It's so cool. It's such an interactive, it's like, it's such a, like, like, coomer, nerd, like, gamer, you know, hot girl thing, but it's also really freaking flashy and cool with all the fire and the feathers and the phoenix and, like, it's just, it's, it's, it blew my, I could not stop thinking about it for the rest of the story, and main, the main reason I'm even making this video talking about the 1.1 story is to talk about this, I'm not gonna lie. I am so excited for this character. I have... Just for your information, I am not free to play. I have bought the Battle Pass and I bought the Daily Login. That's all I've bought so far, right? However, um, I have saved, I have done 
zero summons in the game. I did not summon for Jian. I did not summon for Yin Lin. That was very difficult because she was really freaking cool and really hot and like, oh, it's very, very difficult. And right now, after seeing how Jin Shi works and her character and kind of growing on me and me liking her more, it's going to be difficult. It was, it was going to be difficult to pass up her, to be perfectly honest with you. But after literally getting to test out Chang Li, I am strong. I have saved every single premium piece of currency that I have been able to pick up since the beginning of the game, both free and the, the stuff I get from the battle pass and the login. I have, you know, we have the, we have the, the we have a bunch of free, more, more free pools coming in. I think we have like another like 10 or 15 pools uh, coming in for both weapon and um, uh, regular banner and limited banner. So I've got these all saved up. I've got that saved up, which means I have, 121 pulls. So I have enough right. So right now I have enough to guarantee I get the character um, and potentially uh, guarantee the weapon at the same time. Because the weapon is, you know, you know, it's not 50 50, you're guaranteed to get the weapon. I just have to pull 80 times at, at the most, right? And if I have to pull 80 times the most on the character banner twice, then, which I highly doubt that's going to happen. Let's say on average I have to pull 70, right? Hopefully it's not that not that much. That would be really nice. Say 70, that's 140 plus 70 again. So that's to, uh, 210. So I need 210 pulls to like guarantee that even if I lose like a 50-50 on the character, I get the character and her weapon. The hope is that I get her early, right? The hope is that I will get her... Uh, get her weapon early or something along those lines, right? And then I can also pull for Jinshi and maybe her weapon as well because I, I really like her style as well. I might pull for her in the future, like her rerun instead. Um, anyways, I digress there. She's so cool. I took, I spent, um, camera just went out. Damn it. I don't know when the camera, when the camera, I apologize. I don't know when the camera went out. Um, I spent... I spent like 30 minutes recording the first like five minutes of footage you get when you're walking with Chang Li on that bridge. When you're first getting to the boat. I took a whole like recording of that. I'm going to turn it into my B right back screen. Like I am so down bad for this character and it just got worse as the quest went on. Every voice line, every fight scene, they that scene where she stays behind to fight the Fraxidus while you go on to continue your mission, and she just kicks their asses sliding and slashing and moving and all of it is so so good. They have sold that character so well and they've they haven't even released her trailer yet. Okay? They haven't even they haven't even released her trailer yet. Okay. They haven't even released her character trailer, her music, like they have not released it yet okay we still have time before that comes out i am not i'm not ready okay expiration from the new current uh map gives you 1.4 okay that's another 1.4 on top of what i have here plus all the other exploration i still have to do and other things i like so i'm so i'm so so down bad for this character okay i have not done there are certain things in the game I haven't done yet, specifically because I want to learn to do them with her character. This is how badly I want to main this character. All of this stuff, all of the hard mode stuff, I've done like one of them to like plus two. I think I did this one to plus two. Yeah, I did this one to two um, before I realized what, what they really were. I have not done them, not because they're too challenging or I don't want to do them. I'm saving them so that I can learn her character by doing the hard, like the harder content, like gradually going up um through it the first time through it's kind of just like a thing i decided to do with it it's 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 it doesn't really matter because you can do it any level any rank at any time i guess but that's what i decided to do okay i did this one too i think this was like the first one i did um but yeah so that's like my point right now so i can do like video content and things like that on that so that's that's where we're at right now okay so 1.1 in conclusion to wrap this up to make this video a little bit shorter uh to wrap this up 1.1 story was four hours long for me and I stalled it out. So it probably wasn't even that long, to be perfectly honest. I stalled it out quite a bit. I got up. I took, you know, I got to get drinks. I was not feeling very good today when I started doing this. Um, Chang Li made me feel much better. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I just, woof. So, 1.1, uh, really good. Chang Li, amazing. Jin Shi, really good. Rover's Dialogue, really good. Abraxas, Abby, really good. Um, Yang Yang and Chisha in that first part of the quest, really, really good. Uh, the visuals of this area, really, really cool. 
the snow like ride down the dragon really really cool um i'm looking forward to exploring it uh saying um a lot uh yeah that's it uh if you are not playing withering waves you should if you're not playing with Wives, you should. It doesn't, it doesn't. And here's the thing, I could have skipped the entire story because they added in a skip button to everything. They optimized more skipping. So if you don't care about story and you just want good gameplay, you still, it's a big tree. I don't know, it looked like, that was weird. Um, you can still play the game and not have to care about the story at all. You could just play the game. And you know what? The game is totally 100% worth playing. It's, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. So, if you want hot waifus, and you want good gameplay, and you want a pretty decent story that takes itself maybe a little too seriously at times, and that's okay. Um, hop into Withering Ways. That's all I can say. That's It's it's good. It's good. This was fun. This was great. I think that's going to be it for me. Please don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and maybe consider subscribing to the video. That always helps me out. It helps me out a lot. I'm really close to 1,000. I'm like in the 800 areas. I would love to hit 1,000 before the end of the year. That would be fantastic. If you could help me out that, that would be great. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you're enjoying the game. And if you want to see more content like this, do all the things that I just said. and Let me know what else you want to see. And I'll see you next time. Later.